Is the pH in your pool too high? High pH can irritate eyes and skin, reduce your chlorine's effectiveness, and even damage your pool equipment. But there are two simple chemicals that can help lower pH in your pool, pH decreaser or sodium bisulfate and muriatic acid. So here's a quick guide on how to use each one to lower your pH. Let's dive in. Real quick, if you want more help taking care of your pool, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. It's totally free and will help keep your pool clean and clear all season long. Now, before we talk about lowering pH, here's a quick pool chemistry refresher. pH measures whether a substance is basic or acidic on a scale from zero to 14. Anything that measures below seven is acidic and anything that measures above seven is basic. When properly balanced, your pool's pH should be between 7.4 and 7.6. Everything that enters your pool has the potential to affect your pH level. Rain, dirt, debris, and even swimmers themselves can impact your pH. And saltwater systems are notorious for generating natural high pH levels. So because pH is so volatile, it's important to regularly test your water. pH levels also go hand in hand with your total alkalinity. Total alkalinity is what keeps your pH level stable. Without alkalinity as a pH buffer, your pH would wildly fluctuate. So when your total alkalinity is too low, the pH becomes unstable. And when it's too high, it can cause your pH to rise with it. So keeping your total alkalinity in range is important to help balance your pH. Your total alkalinity should be between 100 and 150 parts per million. First, here's how to lower your pH with pH decreaser. Most common pH decreasers like pH down or pH minus are made with sodium bisulfate, also known as dry acid. It's generally safer and less corrosive than using muriatic acid, but always be safe when handling pool chemicals and wear protective gear like goggles and gloves and avoid broadcasting powders into your pool if it's a windy day. Step one, test your water. Start by testing your pH and alkalinity levels. If your total alkalinity is too high at this point, don't worry. The pH decreaser will bring down both your pH and your alkalinity. Step two, measure out the pH decreaser. Follow the manufacturer's directions and calculate how much pH decreaser to add. It's easier to add more later than it is to correct your water chemistry if you've added too much. So take things slow. Step three, add the pH decreaser to your pool. Broadcast the powder directly into your water near your return jets in the deepest end of your pool with the pump running. Step four, let the pH decreaser dissolve. Allow your pool's filtration system to circulate the pH decreaser and you may wanna brush away any undissolved clumps off your pool surfaces. Any chemical left to sit can damage your pool walls and pool floor. Step five, retest your pool water and repeat as needed. Make sure you retest your water within 24 hours. If your pH and total alkalinity are in the normal range, congratulations. But if you find they're still high, repeat the process again. Next, here's how to lower pH with muriatic acid. Muriatic acid is a highly corrosive and dangerous chemical, so take extra precaution. Cover your body completely, wear thick gloves and safety goggles, and use a mask so you don't inhale any fumes. Step one, test your water. Test your pH and alkalinity levels. Muriatic acid will lower both pH and alkalinity together, but they may decrease at different rates. Step two, measure out your muriatic acid. Calculate how much muriatic acid you'll need to lower your pH into the normal range. You can always add more later, so start slowly. For example, if your pH reading is above 7.8 and you have a 15,000 gallon pool, start by adding one quart or a fourth of a gallon of muriatic acid. If you have a smaller pool, start by adding one cup of muriatic acid at a time. Step three, add muriatic acid to your pool. Remember, this is an acid and can damage your liner if it starts to pool in one place. So always run your filter and keep your water circulating. Diluting muriatic acid in a bucket of water makes it easier and safer to handle. The ideal ratio of muriatic acid is 10 to one, but always follow the manufacturer's instructions. First, add water to an acid-resistant bucket. Then add the appropriate ratio of acid, stirring it in gently with a plastic or wooden stir stick. Always add water to your bucket first, not acid. If you add acid first, you run the risk of splashback. 
Start by pouring the muriatic acid into the deep end of your water. Be sure to walk around as you pour so you don't inhale the fumes. Step four, let the muriatic acid dissolve. Keep your pool's filter running and let the chemical circulate. It should be dissolved and circulated within an hour, but it could take longer if you've added a larger dose. Five, test your water again. Test the pH and alkalinity after at least one hour. If the levels are high, repeat the process again, adding a little bit of muriatic acid at a time. But what happens if your pH and alkalinity levels won't balance? Maybe you've added enough muriatic acid to bring down the pH into range, but your alkalinity is still too high. Or you've added enough acid to bring down your total alkalinity to the proper level, but now you have low pH. If both your pH and alkalinity levels are too low, you can add soda ash to bring them up. But what if you only need to bring your pH into range? You can increase your pH levels without affecting your alkalinity by aerating your pool water. Using a water fountain or an aerator helps release carbon dioxide from the water. And as the carbon dioxide leaves the water, the pH will rise without impacting your total alkalinity. If you need to bring down your alkalinity but keep your pH the same, you can add more acid while aerating your water to keep your pH levels up. And if you need more help with pool maintenance, grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, leave a comment, hit that like button, and subscribe for more pool maintenance tutorials throughout the season. That's it. Thanks again, and happy swimming.